Shalom. Peace be unto you, everybody. Welcome, welcome. May the Lord bless you tonight as we come together, giving praise and honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus, who died on the cross in our place. It's always wonderful to get together and honor him. Um, if it's your first time, my name is Julie. Welcome, welcome. I pray the Lord gives you a revelation and knowledge of Jesus and the finished work of the cross. If you are joining with uh, the communion tonight um, to, to receive uh, the goodness of the Lord, let me tell you, get your, get your juice, your water, your cracker, or bread ready, because we're going to take communion here. Um, I'm a little tired today, but that's okay. God's going to give me some newfound strength. Amen. Hi, Paula. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to say a prayer, and then we're going to get right into the study. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do that. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Father God, I just pray that you bless this time as we come together. Holy Spirit, we, we say you're welcome here. Um, speak through me now uh, and, and through this meeting as we come together, honoring Jesus, the finished work of the cross. And I just pray, Father God, that we can all be used as a vessel for you and your glory. Teach us, Father God, in all the ways that you need us to do. And, and Father, open our hearts and, to you that we would hear the voice of God speaking to us. We just praise you and thank you for the wonderful gift of Jesus and ask for everyone here who's tonight joining, be blessed and receive from Christ Jesus. It's all in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, so I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little tired. Hmm. I kind of look tired, I think, but that's all right. We are going to get started on reading. So if you guys hit the like and share, let's share the gospel, okay? We need to share. He, Jesus is the last, he is the only hope and the last hope for all the people in this world who don't know him. So it's important that we spread the gospel. He is. The salvation is the gospel. Okay, so let's see what the Lord is going to say to us today. Hmm. And here it says the, the key to the missionary's work. Okay. Matthew 28, 18 through 19. Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. The key to the missionary's work of the authority of Jesus Christ, not, not the needs of the lost. Okay. The key to the missionary's work is the authority of Jesus Christ, not the needs of the lost. We are the, uh, we are inclined to look on our Lord as one who assists us in our endeavors for God. Let your Lord place himself as the absolute sovereign and supreme, and supreme Lord over his disciples. He does not say that, that the lost will never be saved if we don't go. He simply says, go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. He says, go on the basis of the revealed truth of my sovereignty, teaching and preaching out of your living experience of me. Then the 11th disciple went to the mountain, which Jesus had appointed for them in 2816. If I want to know the universal sovereignty of Christ, I must know him myself. I must take time to worship the one whom, whose name I bear. Jesus said, come to me. That, it is the, that is the place to meet Jesus. All you who labor and are heavy laden. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28, and how many missionaries are, how many missionaries are? We completely dismiss these wonderful words of the universal sovereign of the world, but they are of the words of Jesus to his disciples meant for here and now. Go therefore, to go simply means to live. Acts 1, 8 is the description of how to go. Jesus did not say in this verse, go into Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, but you shall be witnesses to me in all these places. He takes upon himself the work of sending us. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, John fifteen seven, that is the way to keep going. Where uh, It says where we are placed is, 
is then a matter of indifference to us because God sovereignly engineers our goings. Amen. Hi, Angel. None of these things move me, nor do I count my, my life dear to myself so that I may finish my race with joy and with the ministry which I receive from the Lord Jesus, Acts twenty twenty four. That is how to keep going until we were gone from this life. Amen. Well, that was a very interesting little read, but it was absolutely good. And there's more to it tomorrow when we talk about it because it's got more on it. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Hope all is well, Angel. All right. So what we're doing now is we are going to read our wonderful love letter. I love the way the Lord loves on us every night. And he knows just what to, to, to give us every night. He just knows. The Holy Spirit knows all things. And it's wonderful. So it says here, My beloved, give of yourself. I see how you pour, pour yourself out to people. I love your heart and how you extend a helping hand to those in need. You will discover the true source of serenity and joy every time you step outside of yourself and give your life for my sake. I want you to remember you can never outgive me, my child. Anything you do or say to further my kingdom will be given back to you abundantly. Now go, give your gifts of time and tenderness to a world that desperately needs a touch from me through you. Love your king and the giver of life. We just talked about how we should touch other people and be a difference. Now, the scripture is Mark 9, 41. If anyone gives you even a cup of water because you belong to the Messiah, I assure you that person will be rewarded. The Lord rewards us for the little bitty tiny things we do. That's, that is our, how he is. That's our Lord. He loves us and he wants to bless us in all the good deeds that we do on his behalf. Ooh. All right. If you're just joining, hit the like and share. Um, we're almost ready to take our communion. So we're going to share. I'm going to share some, some scriptures with you. And then we're going to take the communion. So go ahead and grab your elements if you're not ready. Uh, juice, water, a bread, cracker. Any of those things work. Amen. All right. Well, let's go into the Word of God. God promises that He is our presence. In Deuteronomy 31, 8, He says, The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. That's right. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. This is beautiful. He's our presence. Amen. You're feeling a lot better and just talk to Christian. Oh, well, that's awesome. I'm glad you're feeling better. We're still praying. Yes, we're still praying. Praise the Lord. He gets all the glory. I'm glad you're feeling better. Amen. All right. So Romans 4, 19 through 21 says, And being not weak in faith, they're talking about Abraham. He considered not his own body now dead, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. That's his wife. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. He didn't stagger. He didn't have any unbelief, but was strong in faith giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to also to perform it. Amen. This is how we should be tonight with every scripture we do, especially when we come prayer warring. Amen, prayer warriors. Ooh, that's a good one. Thank you, Jesus. Let's not be weak. Let's have faith. And then we have Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith. And it's not a gift. And this is not of yourself. It is a gift of God. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. This is a wonderful gift. You're saved by grace. Who's grace? Jesus is grace. Amen. All right. Psalms 121, verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. Psalms 34, 19. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. That's right. 
He delivers us from all of our troubles. Amen. I love that. <laughs> Matthew 5, 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Then we have Psalms 23, 23, 2. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me be, beside quiet waters. Amen. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you for your sweet wisdom and love tonight. Thank you for your scriptures. Father God, embed these scriptures on our hearts that we would be a light for your glory, Heavenly Father beaming across this world in a dark place that we would shine the hope, the glory of our Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit living in us, that we would bless all those around us, Father God. Father, I just pray now as we, we come together uh, honoring Jesus and the finished work of the cross, that each and every person will receive tonight what Jesus died to give them. May their hearts be open to you to receive all the blessings, every single one of them, all the restoration, the healing, the, the promotion, the uh, prosperity, everything that you've given, Lord, the forgiveness of sins, the wonderful cleansing of, of us to be made righteous and holy. We praise you and thank you tonight, Lord. Bless each and every person who's participating. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead. Now, you can turn to 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three through 26 in your Bible. You can read along. Um, you can take communion as many times as you, as you think you need to. If you feel sick, uh, take it. Continuously take it two or three times a day. And let me tell you, God gives you strength. He heals you. Amen. This is partaking of Jesus's body and what he did for us. Remembering what he did for us at the cross. He was beaten. He was bruised, battered, broken. He, he received many lashes so that you and I can receive health, healing, restoration. And tonight, this is what the bread means. Discerning Jesus's body. This is his body. The bread is the body of Jesus. Okay. And when we take the, the, uh, the drink... This is the blood of Jesus, the sinless blood of Jesus that makes you righteous, holy, forever forgiven. You have been redeemed. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. We are discerning that tonight, knowing what Jesus did 2,000 years ago on that cross, and he did it for you. It's personal. He did it just for you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So let's, let's go ahead and read together. In 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three through 26, it says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he gave thanks over the bread, he prayed over it, he broke it, and passed it amongst the disciples. And he said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So we're going to do this in remembrance of our Lord and Savior. He did it just for you personally. See Jesus there on the cross. See him there. Jesus was battered and beaten. And his bones stared back at him. This wonderful display of love for us allows us to receive all of Jesus' health and wholeness. All of the prosperity Whatever, it, whatever you're uh, battling and whatever sickness or disease, whatever it is tonight, no matter what it is, lay it at the feet of Jesus and, and give it to him and receive what Jesus died to give you tonight. Believe it and you shall receive it. Praise the Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your broken body. We thank you for bearing our symptoms and sicknesses at the cross so that we may have your health and wholeness. We declare that by your stripes, by the beatings you bore, and by the lashes that fell on your back, we are completely healed. We believe and we receive your resurrection life in our bodies today. So let us eat his flesh together.
Now, likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Now you want to take your juice or your water. And you're going to see Jesus there. And Jesus was crucified. He was nailed to the cross with his feet and hands. And a crown of thorns were beaten into his head. His side was pierced and all the precious blood that flowed out of Jesus, the sinless blood that makes us righteous and holy. We have been redeemed. All we are forgiven for every fault, failure, every sin you'll ever commit. Now, until you see Jesus' face, praise the Lord, you can rejoice knowing you can come to Father God in the throne of heaven. Amen. Bringing your prayers and petitions, and he will answer. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a blessing. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blood that has washed us whiter than snow. Your blood has brought us forgiveness. It's made us righteous forever. Amen. And as we drink, we celebrate and partake of the inheritance of the righteous, which includes preservation, healing, wholeness, and all your blessings, Lord. Let us drink his blood together. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm covered by the blood of the Lamb. I'm made righteous. I'm in right standing. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. No matter what I do or where I go, the devil can't touch me. Nothing he does can touch me. That's right. I'm not going to allow myself to be put through that. I'm going to remind myself who I am. Jesus died and his blood has covered me. Therefore, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I can walk boldly everywhere I go, knowing that Jesus has covered me with his blood and God the Father doesn't see any more sins on me. They are covered his blood makes me whole. Praise God. So stand in that. Don't let the enemy lie to you because when he starts to come tell you something, you can tell him. I am redeemed by the blood of the lamb, covered. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. Get thee behind me, Satan. In Jesus name, you rebuke that, that that demon, that monster, Satan. But let me tell you something. Ev at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue confess. Demons flee at the name of Jesus. The it's funny. You know what? People don't know that there's actually a, a, a God, but the demons believe there is. That's right. Either the demons are awfully smart or we're pretty dumb. Now, we, I, I'm going to say I ain't dumb. I'm already saved by grace. Praise God. If you don't know Jesus, I urge you to receive salvation today. It's the most beautiful thing you'll ever experience in your life. I love you guys. I thank you for joining tonight. I, I pray this has blessed you. You're more than welcome to come back. I'm here between six and nine for communion. We're going to do our prayer warriors here in a little bit. I will post it. If you want to join in and be powerful for the Lord's kingdom, please do join us. We need more people praying. Amen. Prayer is powerful and it moves. Hallelujah. God has given us that power. But if we're not going to pray and open our mouths, there is no power. Know that. It's you who activate this, this wonderful power through your mouth. All right. I'm going to pray and close out. We're doing a teaching on Sundays around 12 or 1. I may just pop up and put it put it in there, you know, and so you guys can have time to, to hop on. It's the Jewish people, the Antichrist, and the Tribulation, and it's been a blessing learning these things. All right. Thank you, Angel. I love you. Heavenly Father, thank you that we get to come together giving you praise and honor. We give you thanksgiving, Lord. Everything we have is because of you. And we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the things you've blessed us with and all the people and friends and family that you've given us. 
Oh, the grandbabies. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We can never be thankful enough for, for the wonderful, precious gift of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We just want to praise you, Lord, tonight and say thank you. Father, bless each and every person that has been here tonight and, and honored you. I pray you move through their families, Lord, and bring them a new revelation, a new mystery of Christ Jesus. Oh, that their days may be long and full of life and joy. And Father, that they would seek you with all their heart. It's all in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys, be a light into the world. Preach the gospel. Jesus is coming. We're at the end times. Look up. Your redemption's drawing near. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Even in the midst of being tired, I'm excited because Jesus is going to rapture me out of here. I sure hope you're coming with me. If you don't know Jesus and you want to know him, message me. We'll pray together. Good night. I love you. Ha, ha, ha.